Good morning, good evening, and welcome to World of Warships Legends. My name is Robin, and today we are about to sail in the Tier 7 Premium French battleship Jean Bart. But first of all, thank you very much for tuning in the video. I really appreciate it, and I hope you will enjoy your time here. We are back for a fully commented episode, and oh boy, do I have the game to treat you with today. So, without further ado, Let's review the details of the ship we are about to sail in. Jean Bart brings 69,000 hit points to the battle, with an armor thickness ranging from 18 to 430 mm, as well as a torpedo damage reduction of 38%. Its main armament consists of 8 380 mm guns in two quadruple turret mounts. Maximum firing range on the guns is 18 km, with a reload time of 22.1 seconds. The ship can reach a maximum speed of 27.8 knots, that's without engine boost of course, and has a surface detection of 14.7 km. As consumables, the ship comes equipped with a repair party of course, its signature main battery reload booster and an 8% engine boost. 4D modifications I've installed we have Aiming System, Modification 1 Damage Control System, Modification 2 Target Acquisition System, Modification 1 and Main Battery, Modification 3 For my commander, I am using Robert Jojar with Charles Maiden and Andrew Cunningham as inspirations The skills selected are not the one for nuisance Gyrating Drill Bits, Marksmanship, Emergency Specialist and Will to Rebuild as legendary skill Legend's approach regarding commanders and skills is very different from what the majority of you guys know from PC. So, if you would like to know more about the effects of each skills, I have put a detailed description in the pinned comment below. This absolute monster of a French battleship, though, already has a strong reputation on both PC and console titles. And with that said, does not need any further introduction. So, I will spare you guys the pitch, put some footage behind these words and take the Jean Bart to battle. And here we are, on the map Greece Domination Mode. We got ourselves a southeast spawn, in reach of Objective Charlie, and escorting us will be a friendly Massachusetts. Before we get deeper into this video, let's go over the differences you may notice for those unfamiliar with how World of Warships Legends works. There are only 7 tiers, compared to the 10 tiers on PC, with an additional tier on top called Legendary Tiers. The matchmaking is also 9 vs 9 instead of 12 vs 12, and a few ship parameters such as reload time, range and maneuverability are different in order to adapt to an overall faster game pace and closer engagements. Timer is also 15 minutes, so all of your actions have consequences within that short period of time. Actions such as not ramming our Massachusetts while trying to get an angle on the already spotted targets, that is a Genesa now and an Azuma, the latter which will send our first volley towards. Also escorting them will be an enemy Indianapolis, and all three targets are eagerly pushing towards the sea cap. That early in the game, that's quite surprising. After creating some distance with our friendly battleship, we can finally turn back in and start closing the distance a bit more. These three targets do not present a massive threat for me, so I am very happy to push and counter their aggression. As you may have noticed, there are no destroyers at all in this battle, so pushing in is actually not a big problem as long as we watch our crossfire, which in Legends, due to the closer spawns and tighter map layout, can happen very quickly. We switch to Indianapolis, overall a juicer target, and while our first salvo landed for almost 10,000, the second one only overpants. But our Massachusetts has an angle as well, and he will make sure that this cruiser goes down, leaving only to deal with the Azuma and Genesa now. In the meantime, we also lost a cruiser on our side, nuked by the enemy Lyon, and it seems that the bulk of the enemy's forces are concentrated around Bravo and Charlie. This gives us a very good opportunity to flank once we've dealt with these two here. 
attacking some fire from the left side. An enemy Ki has parked herself there, something to keep in mind. And Azuma, trying to escape, is going to catch a few shells from our Massachusetts, two of which are actually citadels, and that is the second target erased. Enemy Ganesanao is now in a very bad spot, and his only course of action would be to either rush us with torpedoes or try to flee with its good speed, but instead he'll go on and sail full broadside to both Massa and I, allowing us to take some generous chunks out of his HP. Friendly Cheshire goes down on the other flank. It seems that the A cap is not going to hold for long. Just like the C cap here will be shortly cleaned up of enemy presence. One last salvo towards the German battleship, supported by our cruiser York and we secure our first kill. Time to pay more attention to the key now. She actually managed to capture B without being contested. That's partially our fault since we had an angle on her the entire time. And I do not need to get any closer as this specific battleship as you may know is equipped with torpedoes. Backing her up are two enemy cruisers with good positions behind islands. An enemy York on which we'll let a salvo fly and an enemy Fiji. I am currently quite happy with our positioning. We are perfectly angled against the Japanese battleship and we are attracting most of the shots from the cruisers, allowing our Massachusetts to capture Charlie without being reset. Fiji keeps revealing herself so we'll also send a few shells her way, actually yielding decent damage, and we train our turrets back on the key. Three ships down on both teams, that's a third of the total population of this game gone, but this fight really has just started. Unsurprisingly, the A side completely folded. Only a Colorado is down there to hold the line, but with its slow speed I doubt he will be able to fall back to us. Although he seems to be contesting and resetting the alpha cap, buying us more time and essentially buying us more points, which is very commendable. The C cap is ours and the key is hurting. I am not quite able to do a lot of damage from this angle, obviously, but our Massachusetts is currently working on her flank, forcing her to start to give more and more broadside, eventually allowing us to line up a proper shot and hammer in the killing blow. Meanwhile, enemy York has been taking pot shots at us, doing minimal damage but forcing my damage control with a double fire. And though with this flank now properly cleaned up, we are actually concealed and we can start pushing the B cap. Remaining allied ships on our side, except Colorado, is a York, and Helena, and a Massachusetts, versing what seems to be an Iowa, an enemy Massachusetts, a Fiji, a York, and a Lyon. Nine minutes left on the timer, and the enemy team does have a decent point advantage. We do catch the broadside of the Iowa and take our shot in hope to help our fully retreated Colorado. Salvo lands for a very good 12k damage, though we have to switch our attention elsewhere. Enemy Fiji is rushing in. Very aggressive, if not completely reckless action. Our York goes down, nothing we could have done here, and our Salvo is going to merely scratch the paint of that British light cruiser. Massachusetts Salvo, on the other hand, oh boy, is going to make Fiji understand the consequences of her decision. We burned our main battery, pilot booster, not expecting Fiji to lose that much HP from our friendly battleship, so we switched to the enemy Lyon, showing an equal amount of broadside. Friendly Helena goes down, hard to keep track of all this action, and it is now down to a 3 versus 4. I am still quite healthy though, but so is the enemy Massachusetts coming right at me. Friendly Colorado has also completely removed himself from the battle and is in absolutely no position whatsoever to help us. So essentially it is a 2 versus 3 as their enemy Iowa seems to be proceeding to do the exact same thing and is sailing towards the corner of the map in order to hunt down Colorado. Interesting decisions on both parties here but also something we could potentially take advantage of. 
friendly, Massachusetts seems to be keeping both the York and the Lyon in check, so I can try and focus on the enemy battleship coming my way. The plan is to retreat, cut line of sight with the enemy Massa, and to push south and left of the island to try and pull off a flank. Our engine boost is back online, so it is high time to try and do exactly that. This would essentially leave our friendly Massachusetts a bit exposed, but he has some island cover from Bravo, and it's all about creating crossfires anyway. Additionally, I do not want to engage in a bow on battle with the US battleship. One of the weaknesses of Jean Bart in Legends is its turret armor and HP. They are very easily knocked out and destroyed by large caliber AP, and Massachusetts would be in a prime position to do just that. Also, we have the benefit of concealment working in our favor, so the enemy BB might not be expecting that move until, of course, we get spotted by proximity. But at least we have momentum. Also, I wanted to try and get eyes on the enemy Iowa, possibly support our Colorado if given the opportunity. Unfortunately, Colorado gets wiped by the Iowa and we were out of range anyway. My Massachusetts is alone versus three targets with potentially an angle on him, so I need to turn back and help him. But I think my little maneuver here is about to greatly pay off. Enemy Massa will possibly be turning north, hopefully, let's say, in order to chase our remaining battleship, and that is exactly what he does. We catch him completely broadsided. RNG on our side, we slam the broadside of the enemy battleship for 21,000 hit points. Our main battery booster also comes back online, and what a great, if not the best, chance to use it. By the time Massa realizes his situation, we slam its broadside again and secures our third kill with, this time, a 25,000 finishing blow. No time to rest, we need to try and help our last remaining ally. York looks like she's going for the ram, she misses, but Massachusetts goes down anyway. Enemy Lyon got himself a Kraken unleashed, and it's potentially the main reason why the entire A flank went down in the first place. I need to be wary of that player, as I am now the last ship afloat and this game is not looking too good. One more salvo on the York and we finish her off before she can do any more damage. Though my concern also lays with the Iowa that must have been sailing back towards the action after his cleanup on Colorado. 10 more seconds on the cap, this could be really helpful, although the Lyon has something to say against that, obviously. He had HE loaded, specifically for me, very wise choice on his part, as AP would be pretty inefficient against me at this angle. But we do get a complete cap reset, even if our returning fire is hurting the French battleship. I am left with no choices but to push forward and try to pressure the Lyon on retreating, all the while trying to get eyes on the Iowa, which I am preemptively angling against. It looks like the Lyon read that like an open book as he loaded AP again and slams us for 11,000. And here is the Iowa. I am not liking this situation one bit. Out of heals and out of consumables, the HP I have is all that's left, though I need to angle against the bigger caliber. I do keep my guns on Leon though, as he is the target with the least HP now, and the one creating a nasty crossfire, but my salvos are not connecting the way I want them to. Fortunately, it seems that the Iowa is shooting high explosive. I prefer being set on fire than potentially losing my turrets, which would be less than ideal, though the Lyon is about to slam us for almost 23,000. This is devastating, and we need to take this guy out of the fight, but as we train our guns for the salvo, the Lyon reconceals. I am left with nothing else but a rough estimate of his speed and heading before I let the blind salvo fly and turn my attention back to Iowa. We aggressively repaired a single fire only to be set ablaze again, but the RNG gods reach out to us in mercy. We actually managed to nail the shot on the Lyon. You and me, Iowa, you and me. 7k HP, 
18 seconds until damage control, and at this point I am considering to go for the ram. We aim for turrets in hope to disable them, but Iowa is quite impervious on that sort of things. But is being clenched, but Iowa does a mistake that will save me for the time being. He aimed at my superstructure instead of going for my bow. I survive with nothing but 1.7k. I immediately slam the rudder right and lock the guns on the left. There will be one shot and two fates. Cuirassé enemy coulé indeed. How about that, guys? This could have been a very different ending. But by some sort of miracle, coupled with, I'll admit, some very poor decisions from a couple of enemies, we managed to crawl back to a win from what looked like an assured defeat. 210,000 points of damage dealt, almost 13,000 XP earned, and 770,000 credits gained. We achieved Dreadnought, Confederate, High Caliber and Kraken. Unleashed out of 94 hits and 4 citadels, sinking 6 enemy ships in the process. 3000 base XP, shortly followed by our friendly Massachusetts, which was pivotal on winning that game by the sacrifices he made and the damage he dealt. Similar praise, if not more, has to be made for the enemy Leon, though, that's managed not only to get a handful of medals and 5 kills, not only finished 3rd on the top XP earners, but also came very close to delete us from the game with insanely accurate salvos of opportunity. With that said, an explosive game with fantastic results that hopefully ends up being a solid example of how, in World of Warships Legends, French battleship Jean Bart can be commanded. And this marks the end of this episode. Thank you very much for watching it all the way through. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you did not, well, thumbs down. But stay tuned anyway. As always, there will be more content to come about World of Warships and who knows, World of Warships Legends. Until next time, you have a good one and you take it easy.